The Ministry of Human Services and Social Security is proud to observe International Women's Day under the theme of Women in Leadership Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. This is aligned with the priority theme of the 6th to 5th session of the Commission on the Status of Women, emphasizing recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. Indefatigable women have brought different experiences, perspectives and skills to the table, making invaluable contributions to decision-making in public life. They stand at the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis as healthcare workers, caregivers, innovators, community organizers, and as some of the most exemplary and effective leaders in combating the pandemic. The crisis has highlighted both the centrality of their contributions and the disproportionate burdens that women carry. We salute and applaud them and recognize, too, that there is still a need to challenge persistent barriers that exist in our world. That's why millions of women and men are standing together and are choosing to challenge seemingly resistant barriers. The challenge we face is real, daunting and quite frankly, growing more worrying all the time. The challenge lies in how we as a society regard women, our sisters, mothers, our best friends, our wives, our daughters and students, our teachers, their workers, caregivers, supporters and leaders, their baby girls and old women. We're ever in their debt, yet so much of how they contribute is invisible and silent. The challenge is in seeing them, really seeing them, and what they stand for, and what they have to offer. We need to value and recognize them. Though, there are many accomplished and respected women and girls in Guyana. Guyana, like most of the rest of the world, is falling behind in helping its female population to even begin to fathom its true potential. Strides made over generations and through landmark moments like the Beijing Declaration are under present attack by a regressive destabilizing trend that seeks to victimize and vilify women and girls, to bring out the outdated ammunition that we thought had been dismantled. And we know that is what is happening because the violence and attacks on women and girls, that most pernicious way of controlling, is rampant. Violence against women and girls is one of the most egregious manifestations of gender inequalities, resulting in the violation of women's rights and remains a systematic challenge in Guyana. The Ministry of Human Services and Social Security condemns the rapes and sexual abuse of women and girls, violence against and murder of young mothers at the hands of their husbands and partners. We are committed to working assiduously to curb violence against women and girls from the hinterland to our coastland, utilizing the Spotlight Initiative programs, the 914 hotline, the Survivors Advocacy program, and newer programs that are impactful. International Women's Day reminds us that we must all lift up our voices to challenge these grave atrocities committed against our women and children. This lifting requires more than our ministry. It requires all of us, you and I, consistently and unapologetically. We challenge our men not to stand on the sidelines when issues such as gender-based violence and gender equality issues are discussed. These are not only women's issues. These are issues of general human rights. The threat and the reality of gender-based violence means that fear permeates many women's existence. Within the home, a place of risk, not refuge, the threat and the reality of gender-based violence continue to damage the physical and mental health of women across the country who live with permanent injuries and scars, both seen and unseen. But today, let's choose to stand up and challenge gender-based violence. We have to shift mindsets and attitudes to zero tolerance to all forms of violence, including sexual violence and sexual harassment. We must step up to challenge the actions and behavior of others. Stereotypes about women both result from and are the cause of deeply ingrained attitudes, values, norms, and prejudices against women. They're used to justify and maintain the historical relations of power of men over women, as well as sexist attitudes which are holding back the advancement of women. Everyone has the responsibility to contribute to the huge leap forward which is necessary to build a society in which men and women enjoy equality. 
It is up to each and every one of us as social actors to dismantle the stereotypes and prejudice that feed inequality between women and men. No contribution is too small. Gender equality between men and women does not mean that women and men have to become the same, but that their rights, responsibilities, and opportunities will not depend on whether they were born male or female. We also advance gender equity to create a world of fairness, of treatment for men and women according to their respective needs, rights, benefits, obligations and opportunities. The Ministry of Human Services is committed to working with all partners to support and empower women and girls. We must continue to challenge the structural causes of women's oppression, discrimination and marginalization so that our development goals or plan of actions related to gender equality and women's rights will be realized. I humbly salute all those who continue to champion these ideals and stand strong with them to celebrate our women and their accomplishments while challenging the biases and stereotypes that still exist. Happy International Women's Day.